Abolition. Abolition. Today. Abolition. We're all targets now, though, for daring to push back against the regime. And it doesn't stop at a weaponized legal system. I'm not going to win mince words with you all. Democrats want Republicans dead. And they've already started the killings. Some people say, well, they're soft on crime. No, they're not soft on crime. They're pro-crime. They want crime. They want crime because they want to take over what you got. They want to control what you have. They want reparation because they think the people that do the crime are owed that. Bullshit. They are not owed that. Joe Biden's five million illegal aliens are on the verge of replacing you replacing your jobs and replacing your kids in school and coming from all over the world they're also replacing your culture and that's not great for america it is known in, in the black community that most not all not all but most black people are racist to all white americans you say it's known what do you mean what, what is your, what is your they, basis for that? they have been brainwashed over the last 50 years or so to believe that America is a racist society and that, that white folks are trying to hold them back. This is a racial situation. It's not covered that way in the press. It's not even discussed in the press. They don't want to discuss it. They stay away from it. I don't and agree with whether you. Whether people like it. Uh, that's what we're talking people... about is the race thing. And then well, this, I, whole, this, no, this not. is not I, just I, a I, shooting. Well, I, I don't think. I think it's a very strong, and in fact, Chicago is another situation. I mean, it's a very racial situation out there. And if you look at what's going on here and Chicago and other places, and the, the press really seldom talks about it. And you looked at it over here. As soon as you mentioned his black son, the audience went wild in applause. And that's a very sad situation. It's very sad for the country. And people understand it. In my opinion, the press does not really discuss it. They talk about riots, but they don't say what's at the core of the riot. And frankly, uh, it's a very big problem in this country. And it's a problem that is not discussed or certainly not discussed in any great detail. And it has to be. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. I don't care how mad that makes you. You get pissed off as you want to. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. They are God-denying demons that butcher babies and hate this nation. Bunch of devils. I'm sick of it. They want to talk about the insurrection. Mm. Let me tell you something. You ain't seen the insurrection yet. You keep on pushing our buttons, you low-down, sorry, compromisers. You God-hating communist America, you'll find out what an insurrection is because we ain't playing your garbage. We ain't playing your mess. My Bible says that the church of the living God is an institution that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And the Bible says they will take it by force. That's what the Bible says. Veteran Wilmington officers who've been on the job since the late 1990s, think about that, decades on the force, are heard saying some truly vile and racist things, with one of them flat out calling for a race war. This is a police officer who's been in there for decades. Quote, we're just going to go out and start slaughtering them effing N-words. I can't wait. God, I can't wait. The officer adding that a civil war is needed to, quote, and I quote him here, wipe them off the effing map. That'll put them back about four or five generations. Abolition. 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 Abolition.